the new armadillos are now in Minecraft. Hello there, Ray here, and we got armadillos in the new beta for the Bedrock Edition. These are similar to snapshots in the Java Edition. Now the armadillo was added into the game because it was voted by the players during the mob vote, and it beat out the penguin as well as crab. So as the winner, it will be added into the full release of 1.21 update. Let's check out what's all new with this mob, and if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. Armadillos can be found here in the savannah biomes. Currently, they're only out for the bedrock preview versions. This is 1.20.60.23. Now, if you run up to armadillo, such as sprinting, they will get scared and roll up into the nice iconic little balls. They're so cute with their little head sticking out and their feet sticking out. Everything else is completely covered with their nice armor. They'll also roll in a ball if there is a hostile mob nearby. And when they're in a ball, you can kind of push them around. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a soccer ball. If you use a brush on them, you can actually brush off a scute. And these are a new item for 1.21, which are called armadillo scute. Armadillos will also drop these just naturally over time. This one here, put one out. And with a crafting table, you can actually craft up wolf armor by making this H shape here, taking a total of six scutes just to make one of them. And if you have a tame wolf, you can apply the wolf armor onto it just by right clicking. And it looks really cool. It has like not only a little helmet for it, also has like a little chest piece for it. There's also a piece for the back of it. Uh, looks like there's also like some little knee pads for all four of its knees. So there is a lot of armor all over it. Do you think they did a good job when it comes to the dog armor? And the wolf armor is as strong as horse diamond armor, which is the equivalent of having 11 armor points, similar to having iron chest plate and plate legs on the player. So it's actually quite a bit of protection for these guys. So the dogs will actually take a lot more damage before they can die. But they can still die, and if they do, they will drop their armor. So make sure to keep healing your dogs with some food, that way you don't lose them. Which is one of the major downsides of armor, is that it just protects them a little bit and isn't going to stop damage like altogether. Now you can brush armadillo even when it's curled up and get the armor piece. Now we also have the previous skewt in the game, which is from the turtle. That one's just called skewt, or this one's called armadillo skewt. So maybe they'll change this one to be called turtle skewt. Now skewts are just hard horn-like pieces that are just underneath the skin and are often used for protection. Now armadillo's favorite food is spider eyes, which is a bit difficult to get as you have to kill the spider by player means in order to actually get the eyes, rather than just get string if you would like drop them to their death. Now the spider eyes, you can right click onto armadillos. This will put them in heart mode. And then they can actually breed together and produce a baby armadillo. Look how cute that thing is. Of course, you can grow these up faster by feeding them a whole bunch of spider eyes. How do you like the looks of them? Now, if you would happen to kill an armadillo, it's not going to drop the skewt. It will drop some XP's. They probably did this similar to like turtles as a way to kind of tell players not to attack cute mobs in the game. Now it seems like when they roll up in their ball and you hit them, they will unroll. They'll probably change this in the future so that they'll stay rolled up, kind of like shulkers are closed. And maybe they'll also take less damage when they're like this. I could definitely see someone trying to make a game where you have to push the armadillo around while it's all rolled up. It is uh, pretty small. You can see it's smaller than a block. It could definitely like fall into a small little hole. Now because the armadillos will automatically roll up when there's hostile mobs nearby or a player sprinting, you could use this as a type of detection. So you can tell the difference between like a hostile mob coming by versus a passive one. And you can also detect if a player starts to sprint as it'll also roll into a nice little ball versus a player who's just walking in. Now it's hard to say if the armadillo will actually change its hitbox, how big it appears, when it's standing normally versus when it's rolled up. In the past, the game would use the same hitbox no matter what the mob is doing. If it's turning its head or walking around, it didn't really matter. But more recently, we've seen mobs that can actually change their hitboxes, like shulker boxes when they're opening and closing. Also, pufferfish when they change at different sizes. And more recently, with the camels and the sniffers when they stand up versus sitting down, is actually two different sizes. Now, these can be detected not only with like skulk sensors, but they can also be detected with just string or pressure plates. They might be able to make some kind of cool redstone devices using these guys. Now armadillos are passive mobs, meaning you can use a lead on them and pull them about like you do other mobs. 
And even if the armadillo is scared, if you right click with the lead, it'll automatically unroll. So you can't like pull around the rolling versions. You can make a whole army of armadillos so you can bring them back to your base to continue getting tons of scutes. It would be cool to see if there was more uses for the armadillo scutes rather than just the wolf armor because once you put it on your wolf, unless it dies, you can't just like right click it and get back off of it. So let's see, you have a whole army of dogs. You probably don't need a ton of armadillos or to make like an armadillo skew farm, which is pretty much just an armadillo sitting on top of a hopper collecting items. They don't have too much health, looks like maybe 12, pretty similar to other passive mobs. They also immediately unroll once they fall into some water, which is probably a good thing because you wouldn't want them sinking all the way to the bottom. Let me know all the questions you have about the armadillo and the dog armor, and join me in looking for crazy tricks to do with the new items over at my Twitch livestream. You'll get the behind the scenes on how I discover all these crazy tricks that eventually showcase to the Minecraft community. If you appreciate the dedication I put into this game for almost 15 years, you can always support me by joining my YouTube membership. Plus, you get cool perks like having a unique icon by your name. Otherwise, I'll see you over at my stream. Bye-bye!